All right. Okay, um, let's open up Canvas real quick. Okay, so you'll need to go to chapter four module and download in the class activities chapter four. Uh, you'll wanna download chapter four zip and the chapter two template zip files. All right, today I'm using Mac. I'll try to switch back and forth between Mac and Windows throughout the semester so um, everybody gets to see how to do this on both platforms. All right, I'm gonna pull out my zip files for my downloads, get those open, and get rid of those. And I'm gonna make a new folder Chapter four. All right. Let's get brackets open. <clears throat> and I'm going to open up um, someone over here in brackets, um, file open. I'm going to go to this chapter four. I just downloaded. And I'm going to find starter one. Let's open that. All right, so the first one is going to be super simple. Um, we're just going to put a horizontal rule in here. Okay. So remember, those are ones that we can do, uh, things that we can add to like break up the layout. All right, so I'm going to add this right before the footer. Um, or right, actually. Um, right after this opening footer tag, uh, I'm gonna put one right above that copyright. So I'm just gonna type HR. It, so we've got an HR tag there, that's all we need. Um, I'll just save this as my chapter four, I'll just call it hr.html. And then if we preview that, <clears throat> Uh, you'll see it added that horizontal rule uh, right there. And that rule will um, go, it'll span the width of your brow the browser window, okay? So you don't have to put any width or height or anything like that in there. All right, so that one was done and we will move on to 4.2 on page 140. <clears throat> All right, so let's open up, um, Actually, we'll just keep the same file open that we have here. And we wanna work with uh, some padding and some borders now, okay? So um, we're going to go into our style sheet up here. And I wanna create some padding for the H1 element. All right, so I'm gonna need to create a H1 element selector. Whoops, messed up there. I was inside that uh, closing bracket of the footer. Make sure I'm out of there. All right, H1 um, curly bracket. And we're gonna do padding colon space 1M. All right, got that close off with my closing curly bracket. Uh, and now we're gonna go into the H2. So I already have H2 up here. And I wanna add a uh, border to the bottom of that H2. Okay, so right after text align center, um, I'm gonna add another uh, property here, border hyphen bottom. Colon. All right, so now we got three values we're gonna put in here. We're gonna make it two pixels uh, wide. Um, we're gonna make it dashed. Okay, so you could do dash solid. Uh, there's other, some other options as well. <clears throat> and then, so you just type space after each of those values. And then the last third one here, we gotta put the color. 
So I'm putting my hexadecimal value, 191970, semicolon. All right, and then I'm going to add some, uh, okay, we're gonna go to the footer and we're gonna put a border on the top of that. And we're gonna add some padding. Okay, so after font size there in the footer, I'm gonna put border top, so border hyphen top, colon. Uh, we're just gonna make it thin. So that's another way you can do the, the width of something. Uh, you can do pixels or you can use thin. Um, just, uh, you can, in the book, it has different options that you can use. And we're gonna do solid space, give it the color, AED4, semicolon. All right, and I'm gonna add some padding to the top. We're gonna make that padding 10 pixels. And then the last one here, uh, let's just change the text color of our footer. Make that a gray color. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get rid of that HR the horizontal rule there in the footer. Don't need that. Okay, so let's do file save as. And in my chapter four, I'm gonna call this one border. HTML. And let's take a look at it. All right, so you see we got our uh, dashed borders there for our um, for H1, um, and then down here in the footer, uh, we added, added that uh, border on the top. Okay, so that's basically just replacing that horizontal rule. Uh, the problem with the horizontal rule, you can't control the color or width or anything of it, or the thickness. So by doing that top border on the footer, we can uh, style that to, way, to the way we want. Um, Okay, so yeah, our H2, we got our borders there. Uh, we put padding around our H1 header, right? So all that seems to be working. Let's go ahead and close that. All right, and let's move on. So that's dealing with padding and borders. Now we're gonna jump to doing some stuff with images. So 4.3 on page 146. Um, okay, so let me jump out of brackets here. Uh, in my chapter four, I'm gonna need to make a new folder. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new folder called kayak ch4. And I need to move some files in there. All right, so I'm going to open up my chapter four my starter files that I downloaded. Um, and let's see, starters. It's okay, so in the starters folder inside chapter four, all right, I'm gonna need kayak dc.gif. So let me, Copy that and paste that into my new folder here. And then I'm also going to need, uh, let me look here in the instructions. Uh, all right, we need hero.jpg. All right, so that file, copy that guy. And then the last one I need starter2.html. All right, so we should have those three files in the new kayak4 folder. All right, so let's go back to brackets and open that file up. 
go HTML. Or starter two, okay. All right, so it should look like this. Um, okay, so we're gonna delete this text here and the H1 um, in the header. So we're gonna put an image in there for the logo. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our image source. IMG space SRC equals, and then in quotation marks, we're going to use this kayak.gif. All right, a space, I'm gonna put my alt text. Okay, so remember this is the description. Okay, so since it's a logo, uh, I'm just gonna type out what it says there. So it says kayak door county.net. All right, and then after that last quote, I'm gonna set my width. Okay, so the, the width equals 500 pixels. And space, and then I'm gonna put my height equals, quotes there, 60. And then close that tag. All right, so we got that in there. All right, so then um, next what we're gonna do, we're gonna put that uh, the photo there of the kayaker. All right, so right below our H2, so line 21. Let's go ahead and insert another image tag. So IMG SRC equals, and this time we want to use that hero JPEG. All right, and we're going to add, make sure we get our alt text. So our description. And we'll just give it a simple three or four, some man. Kayaking on lake. All right. And then we're going to set the uh, width and height. So it's 500 wide by 350 tall. So let's add in our width equals 500. Height equals 350. Close that tag. All right, so let's do a file save as. And let's see, let's just call this one. Uh, we'll just call, we'll just call it index, since it's kind of the home page. Index.html in our Kayak 4 folder. And let's take a preview here. All right, so we got our, um, our new logo up there in the header. All right. Um, and then we have our large uh, JPEG photo placed right there in the main section of the page. Okay, so it should look like that. All right, so let's move on now um, to 4.4. Okay, so we're gonna keep working with this file. Um, we're gonna go ahead and add some more images because uh, we're gonna use some images for our navigation uh, nav area at the top. All right, so let me hide brackets here for a second and go back in these starter files and I'm gonna need contact. So I'm gonna copy that. A little trick if you're on the Mac, uh, if you just click on the file and you can drag it, hold the option key down and let go. I'll just copy it easily. Um, I have home. 
GIF. Um, we got tours and reservations. That one, and then this one here. into brackets. Okay, so in this uh, nav area, um, we're going to um, we're going to do some stuff here with the style sheet, and then we'll add those images in. Okay, so um, what I want to do is I want to configure an uh, configure an ID. All right, so in my style sheet here, I'm going to create a new ID selector. So hashtag bar, and then with our curly brackets, uh, we're gonna put a background, type and color. We're gonna use 152420. All right, and then the other thing I wanna do here in the style sheet, um, I wanna, Make sure I don't have any borders around those images that are going to be linked. So we're just going to do border hyphen or uh, border colon none. Okay, so that should be all I need in the style sheet. <clears throat> all right, so then I'm going to go down here. And in my nav area, um, now opening tag, I'm gonna add that ID selector. So nav space ID equals, and in quotes, bar. Okay, so I want that inside of that first opening uh, tag. All right, and then instead of having the words here, uh, we're gonna put in those images uh, just because we're using kind of a different font uh, that browsers won't be able to support. So we have to create them, create those as images. All right, so here in the opening A anchor tag, that's fine. And I'm gonna add a new image tag. So IMG SRC equals, this one's gonna be home.gif. Quotes there. Make sure we always put our alt text in here. Home. And then we need to set our width. It's 90 pixels and then our height. Is 35. Close that tag. All right, so I don't need All right, so something I forgot here, um, kind of standard practice. If you're gonna use images as um, the links for your nav, we wanna provide those links um, at the bottom of the page as well. Okay, so before I get any, any, before I get any further, I'm gonna copy line 16 through 19. So edit copy, and then I'm gonna paste these. Um, down here in the footer. And for the bottom ones, let me get rid of that image tag I put in there. And so you'll see how it looks here once we preview. Uh, but that just gives the, uh, in case there is um, somebody using a screen reader, um, they can get to those links easily uh, via text, okay. All right, um, oh shoot, did I, I cut those, didn't I? Hold on. Let me. Sorry, I gotta, I should have caught this before I. All right, so let me go up here into my nav. Okay. All right. So we got those down there. 
now we have, okay, so we have the home done, so I can get rid of that text. Um, all right, so the next one's tours. Okay, so again, same thing. I'm gonna add an image tag. So IMG SRC equals, uh, let's see, we need tours. Okay, so tours.gif. Um, and then we need our alt text. Tours. And then the width and the height. So width equals. Again, 90 pixels. Same height. Five. Close that off. That text. All right, then we'll do the same thing for reservations and contact. So save a little time. I'm going to copy that and paste it in here. All right, so we want to get rid of tours and use reservations. Alt reservations. And this one's a little bit longer. Okay, so this one's 190 pixels wide. Uh, still the same height. Get rid of that text. And then for contact, it's going to be contact.gif. Change the alt. And the width on this one is 130, same height. All right, so then we got our closing uh, anchor tag. Space. Okay, that all looks good. So let's save this and preview it. Okay, it looks like everything's working. Okay, so you'll notice when you when I roll over these on the browser, um, they turn into uh, clickable links. Okay, um, and then down here at the bottom. Um, I have my text links for that nav. Uh, I probably want to add a line break there. Let me go down here. Just add a line break after that last. Let's go back here. Yeah, that looks a little better. Might even want to add two line breaks, give a little bit of room there on the footer. Uh, but anyway, um, so those seem to be working. So those are good. All right. So let's move on now to 4.5. All right. So we're going to keep working with some images. So I'm going to close that and close that. Okay, um, so for this one, let's go ahead and open up that chapter two template file. So just our real basic HTML file here. <clears throat> um, all right, so I'm on page 150 of practice activity 4.5. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, let's change the title of this. Uh, we'll call it Tropical Island. All right. Um, I need to get an image first. So let me out of brackets for a second. Um, where is it? My island, I think it's right here in your starter folder. Okay, so I need that file. We'll go ahead and click and copy that. All right, and let's, um, let's make another new folder here in your chapter four called My Caption. Paste our one photo in there. 
All right, so let's go back to brackets now. Um, let's do a file save as, and let's find that folder that we just created, my caption. And let's go ahead and save this. Uh, I'm just going to call it caption HTML. All right, so now I need to add in that image tag. <clears throat> Okay, so down here in the body. All right, so it's my island.jpg. And need to have my alt text. And we'll just call it tropical island. And then the width and the height. Okay, so the height equals 480. The width is 640. <clears throat> right, so if I save that, preview it, I should just have a photo here in my page. Okay, so right there. All right, so now we're going to add a, a caption to it. Okay, so this will come in useful if you're ever working on uh, web pages that you're highlighting a lot of photos and you need captions on the photos. Okay, so up here in the style sheet, I need to create a style sheet in my head section. So we're going to do an embedded style sheet. All right. And I want to make a an ID selector, we're going to call it figure. So hashtag figure. And let's go ahead and make the width 640 pixels. Semicolon. Okay, we're going to put a border. One pixel solid and get black. Now we're going to add some padding on all four sides, five pixels. Uh, we want that text to align in the center, so text align center. And we're going to use font family. Papyrus. Um, or they call it fantasy font. If the browser computer doesn't have uh, papyrus on it, um, it'll load whatever type of, um, uh, it's kind of like a scripty, type of font. All right. Okay, so now we have that um, ID selector set up in our style sheet. All right, so I need to, basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my image inside of a div. Okay, so I'm going to create a new div here. And I'm going to give it the ID our selector there, called it figure. All right, so that's my opening div tag and then I just need to move that closing one right down there, right to the bottom. All right, so save and let's take a look. All right, it's working. I, I just forgot one step. <laughs> I got to put the text in there. All right, so um, after the image uh, source tag, actually put some text in there that'll show up. So tropical island getaway. All right, let's try it now. All right, so you can see it's 
we got the text in there now, um, got the photo. So it's just basically creating that uh, caption there for the photo. All right. Um, so then uh, hands-on practice activity 4.6. We're going to kind of do the same thing, um, except we're going to do just a little bit different. Um, all right, so we'll just keep this same file that we're working with. Uh, we're just going to adjust something here in the way that we're doing this. Um, all right. So for this one, Let's get rid of this ID selector. And we're going to use the uh, figure and fig caption um, selectors, element selectors. All right, so we can do one here now. So figure and then curly brackets and width 640. Um, let's do the padding, uh, five pixels, border, one pixel, solid, black. All right, so that's good for that one. And then we're going to do another element selector called fig caption. All right, and for that one, we're going to do text align. So this is for the text that we'll be putting that we have down there. Uh, center. That font family and papyrus. Fantasy, okay. All right. So then uh, what we're gonna do down here, uh, let's get rid of the div. We don't need the div anymore. Those tags. Um, and then here in the body, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add figure, oops, forgot my open, there we go. Okay, so the same as like what you would do with a paragraph or H1 or H2, okay, any of those elements works the same way. Move that to the very end. All right. And then within that, for that text there, we want to use that fig caption element. So we're just going to put that text inside of these two tags. All right, so we have the figure um, and then our image. Uh, then we have our fig caption for the text and then our closing tag for the figure element. And then if I, let's do save as, I'll just call this one caption two. I know it's not what they're doing in the book, but it works just the same. <clears throat> and if we look at it, it should look exactly like what we did with that last one, um, except Yeah, okay, my border. Let's see what's going on here with the border. Oh, I see. Um, I forgot to add PX up here in the style sheet in the figure selector. That's why I wasn't recognizing it. All right, there we go. So you can see the first one we did and the second one we did exactly the same. It's just uh, two different ways of doing it. Okay. So you can do it with these actual uh, element selectors in the style sheet or you can create an ID selector and apply that within a div uh, in, in the body, okay?
So just a couple different ways to, to do that when you're working with um, images and captions. All right, so what do we got? One, I might have, I think we got time for one more activity. Um, all right, so real quick, we're gonna do um, a background for that kayak, um, one that we were working on. Okay, so I wanna get, just gonna use those same files that I have, but I need to get one more here. Close that. Um, in your chapter four starter files, I need, Zero, let's see which one do I need here? Hero back. All right, so I need that file, Let me copy it. So hero back.jpg, I'm gonna put that in my kayak four folder. All right. Okay, let's open up our index file in brackets. Uh, here we go. Okay. Um, all right, so in my style tag, in my style uh, section up here in the head, I'm gonna create a new style rule for uh, the main element uh, selector. Okay, so under image, let's just create another one for main. And I'm going to use background hyphen image colon space URL. And then in our parentheses, we're going to put hero back.jpg. Okay, semicolon. All right, so notice it's a little different than the way we do image uh, tags. Uh, with backgrounds, we have to use this URL and then uh, the name of the file in the parentheses. Okay, so it's just, it's a little bit different than the way we link image uh, using the image tag. And then I want to also uh, make sure we don't repeat that background. So I'm gonna go background hyphen repeat colon, no repeat, semicolon. All right. Um, and then I'm gonna go down here to line 25 where we had that image inserted. And I'm gonna get rid of that, delete it. And let's save and take a look. All right. So now we got, um, instead of having that big photo there, we've kind of changed the layout a little bit and we're using a background image right there. Um, and you kind of see how the so this gets into a little bit of uh, some graphics uh, editing. Okay, so we added like a kind of a gradient from white um, into the photo there. So that would be something that you'd have to kind of create in like Photoshop or a, an image editing program. Okay, so again, just a, it's kind of another way of working with layout and web design. So a um, lot, of, lot of different options available. All right, so we're at 110. Um, I think, oh, I can do the icon real quick. So prep the 4.8, um, we do the, uh, the favorites icon, okay? So let's look real quick here in our starter files. We should have, 
We should have a fave icon file. Okay, so it's right here. All right, so it's a fave icon.ico. All right, I'm gonna copy that one and paste it into my kayak four folder. All right, and then let's jump into the HTML file here, our index. All right, so then up here in the um, head section, um, we can go after the closing style tag. I'm gonna add link rel equals, and we're gonna do icon, because we're putting in our favorites icon. Add our href, okay, so what we're linking to. And we're gonna link that fave icon.ico. All right, space, type, okay, we have to tell it what type it is. And the standard here is, right, so type is image slash x hyphen icon. And close that tag. All right, let's save and turn our browser. All right, so you can see it's working uh, right up here in my browser tab. Um, you can see the, the little kayak icon, okay? So those graphics can't be anything super uh, detailed, okay? They're just pretty basic, so usually like a a real basic logo uh, type of graphic or something like that is usually the best. Okay, so, but that's how you do that. Um, link that. All right, so that's it for today. Um, Monday, we'll start on 4.9 and we'll finish out this chapter. Okay, so um, work on your quizzes over the weekend for chapter four. Uh, make sure you get those done. Uh, those are all due Sunday. So just uh, read through chapter four in the book, uh, look at the PowerPoint uh, slides that are available on Canvas and get those done. And then we'll finish up the act, uh, coding activities next week. All right, that is all I got today. So everybody have a good weekend and we'll see you later.